two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, today we're going to show you what we're doing here where we've got some fruit trees. Uh, we had it mulched over with newspaper and then some animal manure, some horse poo, and some mulch from the dump. So, I'll show you what that looks like here. So, the, the, the mulch from the dump is this woody stuff with it's a lot of different size material. Okay, so what we want to do now is we're going to plant some legumes, which we've got acacia here. We want to interplant the legumes to give nitrogen to these trees here. And as the legumes grow, we'll chop and drop them, feed the nitrogen to the soil. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting them in between, and it's very simple. Just dig a hole with the crowbar, round and round, poke out one of these, loosen it a little bit if it needs it, and fit it into the hole. Just push it tight around it. And what we've got in these bags is we've got some spent mushroom mushroom uh, compost. Okay. These were used to grow mushrooms out of. So what we're doing is taking a handful of this, so you can see all the mycelium in there, that white stuff, and this is straw. And we're just spreading that around. So we're inoculating the, the area around the trees with um, fungi, basically, which is going into the mulch, into the cardboard, and the newspaper, into all this organic matter. And then we cover it back over. And if we're really, really lucky, we'll get the fungi to flower, which is giving us some mushrooms. And these are gourmet mushrooms. They're, is it shiitake? Awesome. And oyster. Oyster mushrooms and stuff like that. So when the conditions are right, we might get some of those pop through here now, sometime in the future, and then we can we can harvest those and eat them. If that doesn't happen, at least we've got that fungi mycelium spreading here through. Fungi in the soil is going to be good for the trees because there's a, a relationship between the roots of the fruit trees and the fungi. That's it.